What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is extremely important, especially if you are currently on a health and fitness journey or trying to lose weight. Eating out is sort of inevitable. These days I feel like social events and hanging out with your friends is sort of revolved around food and eating out at cafes and restaurants. I swear every second day I'm doing like a new project comeback and it's because I pretty much live at cafes. If you follow my Snapchat, I'll put my Snapchat here, you'll know that I'm a sucker for breakfast. I go out to breakfast all the time. Actually, I go out for lunch and dinner as well, but I just love breakfast. And the last thing I would ever want is my health and fitness goals override anything else in my life and I become this weird antisocial hermit crab that just stays inside and eats tuna and broccoli. No one wants to be like that. So I am here to save you from the hermit life and I'm going to share with you my top tips on how to eat out at cafes and restaurants and stay healthy, stay lean and stay on track with your healthy eating. Tip number one is stick to a more paleo based whole foods option. Have a look at all the ingredients on the plate and try to make them either fruits, vegetables, nuts, seeds or meat. That doesn't mean you have to get a salad. It means that maybe you want to like create your own plate at lots of restaurants and cafes, especially breakfast. I sort of nitpick a few different meals and make my own. So I'll just say, can I please get a plate with like two poached eggs, a little bit of bacon, some smoked salmon, avocado and some tomato. Don't feel embarrassed or bad to make your own meal. Tip number two is make sure there's a good source of protein in any single meal you get. I love acai bowls, but that's why I'm a bit like ugh, off getting them all the time because they're really not high in protein at all. They're just carbs and that is totally fine. I'm not a macro counter. I don't track my calories or anything, but I feel like when I just eat a high carbish meal, I'm hungry straight away. So having a good source of protein in your meal is going to feed your muscles, keep you fuller for longer, and just give your body the energy that it needs. So if you're going out for dinner, for example, some good sources of protein can be fish, chicken, beef, lamb. If you're a vegan, you can go for some tofu if you want. So I always make sure that the heart of my meal is the protein. So I'll have a think about what kind of protein I feel like and I go from there. So in the mornings, normally I feel like eggs or smoked salmon. For lunch, I normally feel like smoked salmon, white fish or chicken. And for dinner, normally it would either be again, chicken, fish, or maybe even like a beef or lamb, maybe even eggs and omelette. I do like omelettes for dinner. Tip number three is limit your refined carbohydrates and grains. So this sort of goes hand in hand with tip number one. If you are trying to lose weight and get lean, this sometimes confuses people. So I go out to breakfast with my friends and they might get the acai bowl with some granola on top and some fruit. So while they get their lovely fresh fruity breakfast, I would opt for more bacon and eggs. And they look at me and they're like, aren't you supposed to be a health YouTuber? Like why are you getting bacon and eggs? But if you follow my channel, you know that I love a higher fat, higher protein diet. I do, I've been having so much fruit lately. I'm pretty much like a high carb accidentally. I just love fruit right now. But regardless, I find that when I eat a diet higher in healthy fats and protein, I'm so much leaner. Like as soon as I start integrating more fruits, I'm still healthy, but I just have a little bit more water retention. For example, if I had a photo shoot coming up and I had an option of a bowl of granola or bacon and eggs, I would pick the bacon and eggs because I would be leaner off that. The only thing you have to be careful of with bacon is it is quite high in sodium. It's good if you can get like a free range nitrate free bacon, but let's just not even get into that. But just be careful with smoked salmon and bacon because they are a little bit high in sodium. So therefore you can hold on to water a little bit more, but it's perfect if you can just get some eggs and some vegetables, some grilled tomato and mushrooms. That is like the ideal breakfast. Another example for dinner, if you are tossing up between the healthy chicken and mushroom risotto or a steak and vegetables, I would go the steak and vegetables. In my opinion, it's better to fill your plate with some protein, like a good healthy steak and some low glycemic vegetables rather than have a whole bowl of some high glycemic carbs like rice, which is more likely to spike your blood sugar levels and then that leads to fat gain. I'm not saying risotto is gonna make you fat and totally derail you, but if there is an option between the steak and the vegetables and the risotto, I would go the steak and the vegetables. I guess the umbrella tip to stick to is more paleo whole foods based. When I eat out, I go totally gluten free, totally dairy free, and if I can, totally grain free. For breakfast, lunch, and dinner, it's pretty much a good source of protein and loads and loads of vegetables. Or if I want something sweet, I will have some fruit or like a granola based thing, but I like when I could add like a scoop of protein or there is nuts and seeds on there, so I at least get some protein and fat from there. So they are my top tips on how to eat out at cafes and restaurants, but maintain your healthy, fit lifestyle. Believe me, it can be done. Like I said, I eat out nearly every single day. 
Hence why I'm so broke. But I maintain my healthy and fit lifestyle. I'm not always on Project Comeback. Like normally, normally I have my life together. Lately I've just been eating a little too many smoothie bowls and fruit and nut mix, but it's called balance, right? If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up because it really, really supports my channel. And make sure to subscribe because I upload new videos every three days. I will see you in my next video. Bye!